following technical support video will show you how to set your default settings for the different multi-rip printers installed on your computer. You'll begin by starting to go to the start button and clicking on your control panel. Your control panel may look different depending on whether you're running in Microsoft Windows or XP. Microsoft XP will have the typical standard looking window where you would find the printers or printers and faxes folder. If you're using Microsoft Vista, you'll want to go underneath the hardware and sound and click on the printer link. It'll now take you into your printers or printers and faxes folder. In the printers and faxes folder, we're going to want to set our default for Multi-Rip Stylish Pro 4800. We'll scroll through, find the Multi-Rip Stylish Pro 4800 on our list, Once we find it, we'll right click over it and go to Printing Preferences. In the Printing Preferences window will open up. We can choose on the Paper and Quality tab to set our defaults for either Automatic Select, which we'll use when we run sheet paper, or we can set one of the different roll settings. In this case, we'll just go ahead and keep it at Automatic Select. Then click on the Advanced button. The Advanced button will again bring you into the main RIP settings. I'll tell now, describe which one of the main settings I would look at in setting my default. The first one would be your paper size. As you'll see, there's a lot of preset paper sizes in here. And one of the ones to look at is tabloid 11 by 17. US letter is 8.5 by 11 as well. In this case, we're going to go with tabloid 11 by 17. Next, we'll look at print quality. Underneath the print quality, you'll have different resolutions that you can print at. Most of the users find that the enhanced selection will do almost everything that they need, including film positives. Now we'll turn around and we will scroll down to the, f to the remaining RIP settings. Your color mode for almost everything will be full CMYK, except for film positives. So in this case, we'll go ahead and leave it at full CMYK. Your RGB and your CMYK source profiles will depend on how the graphic is set up. One of the ones I prefer to use is Color Match RGB and also NTSC. So what you want to do is set up your own test settings and run them off of both ones to find out what color gives what profile gives you the best color for the different ones that you're going to choose. If this default setting is something that you're going to do a lot of dye sub or inkjet light transfers, you may want to go ahead and, and have the image automatically mirrored in the RIP. The next setting that we'll look at is the ink type. Whether you're going to run with dye sublimation ink, multi ink, or chromoblast ink. In this current setup, we have a choice between the dye sublimation of Sublijet IQ ink or multi ink. We'll go ahead and set this one to dye sublimation. The media type, the multi-rip easy dye sub is already set for dye sublimation ink and polyester photo. So if we want, we can go ahead and have another preset one. In this case, let's just say I do a lot of license plates. I'll go ahead and set white metal plate for it. And that's basically the primary settings that I would look at having default settings for. So now all I have to do is go ahead and hit OK, hit apply, and then hit OK, and now my default settings are preset for me. If you have any more questions, please visit the Multi-RIP support forum at www.multiripusers.com.